Hi, my name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Um, I'm going to start this video off with what I'd call a little bit of housekeeping. And by that, I mean housekeeping for the channel. Um, so first of all, could I say thank you so much to everybody that has subscribed already. I really, really appreciate it. And if any of you watch regularly or not so regularly, but you kind of like what you see, if I could ask you to try subscribing for a little while, and if you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe, please don't. But um, it just helps to grow the channel and um, increase the exposure of the channel and everything like that and kind of keeps me moving forward with the channel. So I'd really appreciate that. Um, and if you, you know, if you don't feel like subscribing, then if you could just like or ring the notification, touch the notification bell, which will tell you when I do a new video, that would be great. Um, second of all, on the whole YouTube thing, you know, probably like me, I did not have a clue how any of this worked before I started doing the channel. And I started off doing it, it was just kind of a small little idea that I had one day and um, started doing it, I haven't put my light on. Um, that's better. <laughs> Ta-da! Um, and, uh, and then it started to grow and you know, um, it's not even a year yet since that happened. So I'm incredibly grateful for the way that it's taken off and I love it and I love the community that we've built together. Um, I don't seem to get any nasty comments now like I got in the beginning and um, I'm grateful for that really because however confident I come across, it still really hurts if, if people are cruel and it's unnecessary, isn't it? But um, so thank you. Thank you for all my followers and um, also thank you for the way that most people who watch the um, kind of new series that I'm doing at home with Helen, which I'm just going to do sporadically, where I just share more like practical tips, cooking, crafting, anything that you want to know about, really. Um, and that, that's been nicely received. So thank you for that. Um, and then I want this to just get on to this whole uh, like paid promotion thing. So when you see in the top left hand, uh, left hand corner, it says paid promotion. And when, when we upload a video, <coughs> we, um, excuse me, still coughing. <coughs> we have to say if anything in the video was gifted, um, if it was uh, placed, you know, if, if basically if it was given to us and we mention it in the channel or we're getting um, a small commission on showing up that, that product or indeed if that um, particular video has been sponsored by somebody and I always tick that box nearly always because nearly always I'm wearing some of my friend Muneer's jewellery and um, he has uh, yeah he's an old old friend of mine and I started off just wearing his jewellery because I have a lot of it and then a lot of people were asking me where I got it and so those who've watched me for a while will know that I've done a collaboration with him and he has actually designed some pieces for us and I'll be showing you those very shortly. So what I'm saying is that I always tick that box. So it doesn't mean that, you know, I've been given loads of money to do that. It could mean that I'm just getting a small commission if you buy anything from the links that I put in there. Or it could mean that, yeah, they have actually sponsored the video, which is something that I never in my wildest dreams imagined would happen. But obviously it helps me to keep going and, you know, it's nice. Um, so, but I've noticed a lot of other people doing similar to what I do don't have that paid promotion thing. And I don't know why. So I just want to say it's not because I'm really getting more than them or doing more than them. I don't know why they don't have that ticked. Uh, because it's actually a legal requirement now that if you have got like something, you know, you'll see it if you watch sometimes a Netflix uh, program, it will say um, paid product placement or something like that. So I just wanted to clear that up. I'm not doing anything different to anyone else. And what I would always say is that every time I am approached by a company, my first response is that I have built the channel on honesty and integrity and authenticity, and I stand by that. 
and um, I want you to know that I turn down loads. I mean, I do turn down loads. I know it might seem that there's something new all the time, but I'm interested in new stuff and um, and I like having the opportunity to show you. But a couple of things I've actually used and I've said, I can't, I can't, I can't show that. So I just wanted to clear that up. And then the last thing I wanted to mention was uh, Cunard. And some of you will know that the Cunard cruise that Rob and I did recently, I had cause to complain. When I say complain, I mean, who do I think I am? But I was trying to kind of advise them what was going wrong on the ship. And we were on the Queen Elizabeth and there were some basic, simple management things that could have made our experience and everyone else's experience better. So when I wrote them, it was for that reason. However, how it was dealt with was not ideal, but they have made up for it. And um, I just wanted to let you know, they gave me a partial refund on what I'd spent on the Wi-Fi, which was my biggest bugbear. I got a lovely hamper and I got bouquet of flowers. So um, in the end, they did deliver. Now they could have spent half that money if they'd have dealt with it properly on the ship, but do you know what, that's it, draw a line under it. I probably won't cruise Cunard again for all the above reasons, but that's just me. Generally speaking, people love it. And overall, it was a fabulous holiday and I don't want anyone to think that it wasn't because it really, really was. We, we still can't quite believe we've done it. And the other funny thing is because we started our summer back in March, this feels like the long, longest summer ever. It's another beautiful day out there. Anyway, enough preamble. So today I've got Marks and Spencer haul and um, I think I've got five dresses and one skirt. And um, I actually ordered these dresses with a view to um, highlighting this beautiful jewellery that Meneer has designed with us, the Helen Mary Jo, um, club in mind. Is that lipstick on my chin? I don't know, my chin looks very pink. I um, hope not. So I'll just quickly show you some of the pieces. And these, I love layering up. You know, um, when I went to mum's birthday party, I did a little short video and you'll see that I layered up some of the pieces. So this is the longest necklace. And this is a gold and silver. So it's gold plated and sterling silver. Um, oval kind of hammered oval with this long chain I think this is 30 inches I love it and then and, it, and these are kind of interchangeable some aspects of these which I will do as well and this is a, a short chain and that's got a similar oval hammered piece with the um, what they call it um, he's going to tell me off now baroque pearl seed pearl in there in the grey and then this piece is lovely because I wear gold and silver and you can see, you know, my watch, I bought my watch deliberately because it's got gold and, and white metal. And so this ring is white, this, these rings are silver, this bracelet is, these are gold, yellow, and this is yellow. And I mix and match all the time. I like to do that. And then finally on the necklaces, I've got this piece, which I love as well. And you can see it's got the little silver shell, a little, um, I don't know what stone that is. He'll tell me off again, but it's like a little gray stone and then another little silver baroque pearl. And that's the similar to this one with the, um, you know, the fastening that goes through the bar and ball. And then I've got another baroque pearl that is an enhancer that's got the silver top and then these earrings it's hard to show these so the dresses that i'm going to try on are mostly black and i thought they would be a great background for this and we all need a black dress in our wardrobe so um marks and spencer have delivered on those and we'll see what they look like so I will try on the dresses and then I will kind of interchange the jewellery with it and I hope you like it as much as I do. I'm so flattered that um, Meneer is doing this for me and 
and he loves it too. He loves the fact that there's a whole kind of community of probably older ladies than he usually um, designs for. And so he has done this with us in mind, which I think is fabulous. So without further ado, I will get on and try those. Now this first dress is described as a Jersey ruched midi skater dress. I think skater means that it goes kind of flared at the bottom and this is 35 pounds. Um, it's got nice three quarter length sleeves and it's kind of got this collar and then this V and then it's all ruched and obviously I'll show you that. So I've actually put all three necklaces on. Um, I think probably, I don't know, I do like the three. I mean, you know, I does look like I'm sort of modeling the jewelry, which I am of course, but I, I do like the whole layered necklace thing. And um, this one's quite short and it has got an extender so I can make it longer. So I'll probably take that one off right now. And um, I'm getting a bit distracted because there's a very funny conversation going on with my my kids on WhatsApp at the moment and I can see it keep popping up so it's making me laugh. Um, very unprofessional. Oh, the earrings, I love those. So yeah, probably I prefer it with just these two. And so I'm not sure about this dress and I'll tell you for why. Um, it's it's not a very good quality fabric. Um, it is stretch jersey and it is probably, this is in the regular, uh, this is viscose and elastane. It's got this, this ruching all down the front, which I'm not sure about. I don't know if it's good. I'm really bloated today. I don't know, before Grace's party, I'm gonna have to do that whole, um, you know, they call it no carbs before barbs. I'm gonna have to call it no, no bread before bed. <laughs> Um, because I'm really bloated. So it's got this ruching. I don't know if it's kind of flattering or, or, or kind of like pointing at my belly. So it's ruched down to here. It's quite a flattering shape, I think. Um, I like the fact that the sleeves are three quarter length. Um, it's doing that glitching thing again, the strobing thing. I've got on the Moser and Pele kind of, um, they're almost nude really. They're very comfortable sandal that I got in the next sale. But they are, I think they are actually still doing this on their site. And the Moser and Pele site's got a really good sale on at the moment. Anyway, I digress as usual. So that's dress number one. And it's certainly a good background for the necklaces, that's for sure. I think it really shows them up. And of course, you know, if obviously you bought more than one piece, you could always add on another, you know, if you don't like the mixed metals, you could always put on uh, a silver one as well, if you had, you know, bought two pieces. I'm not saying you should, I'm just saying what you can do. And so then you get this kind of layered up look, which is quite nice. You could put in, um, let's see, I haven't done any of this before, so I'm kind of doing it, playing with it while I speak to you really. What happens if you put the enhancer on there? No, that doesn't work, that's too big. I'm just trying, you know, I'm just seeing how it, how it goes. So I'll pop that on. That's with the three rings, which I quite like actually. Because you just get that little bit of gold going through there. So, yes, yeah, so that's dress number one. bad it's not great not bad uh, this second dress is viscose and it's 25 pounds it's got a short sleeve um, you know it's not a bad length 
and it's not uncomfortable. The tops of my arms are fairly big, so it's not bad. And then it's got, the waist is here. Um, I've kept this on. I'm gonna take that one off and just wear that one, just to show you in more sort of detail. And then, um, yeah, I'll just leave it at that, I think, because I think that looks kind of neat and tidy, if you want to look neat and tidy. Um, I wonder if I take those off. I, with this dress, A, it's not long enough for, for how I like my dresses. I know a lot of ladies say that I look okay in the shorter dresses, but you know, it's all personal taste, isn't it? And I prefer a longer length dress. Um, I think it just gives me more balance. Um, and this feels like a 25 pound dress. So you might say, well, so yeah, you got what you paid for. But I don't go to Marks and Spencers for kind of 25 pound dresses. So that, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? That's just with the enhancer. I do like that length because you know why? It's not too long. You know when you wear, I love a long chain, I really do, but you know when you wear a chain to here, you end up, you put your arm through it to, to do your hair or you pick something up and I break them. I always break them, but that's a good length. That's not kind of gonna get in the way of anything, is it really? And I think it's quite flattering just to come kind of just below your cleavage. So anyway, I'll show you the dress. It's just a very straightforward black dress. I want to put these lights on. But it's, it's absolutely nothing special, but it is, you know, if you want a plain black dress and you just maybe need it for a, an occasion, then £25 is going to get you a reasonable dress. It's got this little tie belt here. It's got this big piece of plastic on it to make sure I don't nick the belt. No, so, so it doesn't get lost. Um, it needs it needs pressing, but this is this has been hanging up for about three days. So, um, you know, it, it would need steaming. But yeah, it's nothing to write home about. And I've certainly got better in my wardrobe already. So I won't be keeping it. But... Uh, I do like the necklace. I'm just gonna quickly pop that one off because I've just thought that that little necklace, I just got this on straight away a second ago and I bet I, try, I struggle now. You know this little with the, um, the gray pearl? I thought it might look nice. Oh, well done, Helen. Yeah, that look, I like that. So that's uh, dress number two. So now this is a step up. This is £79, but this has got all of this um, embroidery on it. Can you see? Um, it kind of, oh, that's better, isn't it? You can see all the embroidery. This is pure cotton. It's lined and um, it's a nice quality garment. As I say, £79. And when I got it, the, this was done up at the back, but you know, I'm not too keen on bows on my back um, unless I am appearing as little Bo Peep, which I was in a school play years ago, which <laughs> I'll tell you about one day. So I've done it up at the front, which I prefer. It's a lovely, it's a really, lovely dress i think it's nicely fitted it has got a zip but i pulled it on the last two dresses were pull on as well somebody asked me if i could mention that um when i talk about these dresses and i think this blue looks lovely with these gray pearls don't you um yeah i really like that i'm going to take oh Gosh, I'm tangling up myself. I'm going to quickly take the enhancer off here. This is what I like about this. You know, it's um, you can change it right up, can't you? So on this one now, I'm just going to put the two silver rings. And I'm sure 
For example, if you didn't want the gold, I'm talking just off the top of my head here, but I'm sure that Muneer would happily accommodate if you just wanted two silver rings. So I think the silver and the blue, really, you can't see it from a distance, but I like that. Silver and this, this kind of ice blue look so nice together, don't they? So um, you can see if I put my hair up, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stick it up in a, in a um, elastic. It's really warm apart from anything else. So um, yeah, obviously it has a bit rough and ready, but just so you can see um, the jewellery better. God, I'm useless, aren't I? I'm not a model, because you didn't need telly. Um, yeah, so, oh, I haven't shown you. Oh, I had to laugh the other morning on um, Lorraine, that Mark Riches, who's their fashion guy, he, he used the black and white dress uh, it's a dress for Ascot. Do you remember the zigzag dress that I said you could wear to a wedding from Matalan? So there we are. I was ahead of the game. So I, I mean, what I was gonna, the reason I thought of that is because you could wear this dress to a wedding easily with, um, you know, the right accessories. I think it's really lovely. Look, lovely with navy, wouldn't it? But very smart with navy accessories. Fits really nicely. So it is £79, but it feels like £79. So, um, yeah. So this dress is navy and ivory, I think you'd say. It's it's not a bright white. And it's got this, um, it's gathered all the way around. It's got the square back at the back as well. Um, and it's got a nice three quarter length sleeve. I, these flipping loops get on your nerves, don't they? I? I always cut them off. Um, you know, when people are interviewed on the TV sometimes and they've got their loop hanging out, I'm shouting at the telly. So it's just got this little, oh, there, that does actually do something. So I guess you could make it a bit tighter if you wanted to. It's quite um, Nell Gwynn. Nice length. It's only got one tier here, so it's not not too bad. You know, I know a lot of ladies don't like a tiered dress. But it's quite cool. I think this is probably viscose and elastane, I'm guessing. Yeah, viscose and elastane, I'm getting good at that. Um, I don't know if I said, did I say? This one is £35. So, and I've put on the two shorter necklaces with this, which I again really like with those earrings and it's nice doesn't it yeah i i really like this layering thing i've seen it on other ladies and i thought oh, you know yeah i like it so um yeah i really like this dress and I really like, I sound like the Aldi advert, don't I? I really like this dress, but I really like the last dress. But that was £79. This is £35. Is that worth more than double? Depends why you want the dress, doesn't it? If it's just another summer dress for your wardrobe, then it's this one. Although, it's got, the, it's got what, loads of, quite a deep sharing, sharing, shearing here. Um and it wouldn't crease, so it'd be quite good for travel, but you would recognise it as an M&S dress. But anyway, it's a free country, whatever you like. Really, you do really notice when, when you've got a lower back, if there's any breeze, it does help cool you down. Anyway, that's uh, the third, is that the fourth dress? Two, oh, it's the fourth dress, so I think I've got one more dress, I think. So this final dress is actually a finery dress. So that's a brand, finery. And this one is, do, 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 find it, is uh, £39. 
and I don't think they had this in the 18. It might have been in the sale, I'm not sure. So this is actually the 20 and it's just as well because there's not a lot of room in it. Um, I, I pulled it on, although there is a zip and I've done one in a kind of cockeyed bow and one that I haven't done up at all because uh, I put it on before I realized they weren't done up. So it's got this empire line here and um, yeah, it's nothing to write home about, really. It hasn't been ironed at all. It hasn't been pressed, and so it's not bad. It's not really creased. I would do the crease test on it if I was buying it, but it feels like a thirty-nine pound dress. It doesn't. If it is in the sale, which I'm not saying it is, um, I wouldn't pay a penny more for it. It's it's quite flattering, in the way the bust is, is shaped like so. And I do love a spot, but this isn't a particularly good example of um, a spotty dress, for want of a better expression. So I've kept those two on. What shall I do? I'm just gonna leave it at those two. Um, so I will then, I'll show you, I'm gonna bring you the skirt and show it to you without it being on me so that you can see the fabric. And then I'll pop back and, and try it on. So um, just bear with me while I go and get that skirt. So I don't quite know what to make of this skirt, I'll be honest with you, and say it's knife pleated, as you can tell. And it's, oh yeah, you can see it's got this kind of shimmer. I think they're doing this skirt in quite a few different fabrics and it was impossible to see on the website what the fabric actually looked like. Now, I don't know if this looks cheap or smart, really. I'm gonna try it on with a plain T-shirt, um, which is from m and but I didn't buy it on this order, but um, it's called a fitted tee, and I've got a couple of them in my wardrobe because they are useful for anything like this. Um, because really you want to cover the elastic at the back, don't you? So you've either got to put on a belt and hope it stays there or wear a top that goes over the top. So it's unusual, isn't it? I mean, I'm pretty sure this is polyester. I say it's um, 45 pounds. So it's quite a lot of money for something. This is I've got in the regular. I probably should have got the long, but we'll see. And uh, it says wash inside out. Yeah, and it's 100% polyester. I don't know, let's see, I'll try it on now. It's not bad actually, this skirt, I'll show you in a second. Um, so I have kept this on and I have swapped the um, got the silver oval with the back to the gold, which is how it came. And then I've just added the pearl enhancer onto the end there. Not sure, but it's kind of quite fun. And I just wanted to say this, you know, Muneer is an old, old friend of mine, and I think this is so generous of him because he's actually replaced his Muneer tag with my little HMJ tag, which you won't even believe how proud that makes me, honestly. And he is such a lovely man. Um, so, yeah, I'll show you, I'll show you the skirt because that's what I'm showing you. quite nicely doesn't it I, I like it so much more on than I did off it just shows you doesn't it and I think with this like what I'd call a neat t-shirt these are really useful these t-shirts because I've got a nice three-quarter sleeve if they still do them I will link them down below all of the jewelry will be linked but it's all on the Meneer um, Helen Mary Jo tag uh, tab on their website and you get 10% off with a um hmj10 i think is the or is it helen 10 i can't remember but i'll check and i'll put that on there for you so i'll just take that pearl enhancer off in case you're all shouting saying i don't like it but you know what it's nice to have jewelry that you can um play with isn't it so that's without yeah i think probably because this is quite a kind of elegant look i mean that would look lovely wouldn't it with um a navy blazer or a white blazer or 
any colour really, and actually the regular is long enough. I'll put the slides on so you can properly see. It's quite, quite swishy, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it as far as the clothes go. So, um, yeah, is there anything else I wanted to say? Not really, I don't think. I just wanted to say thank you again. And um, I hope you're enjoying this nice weather. Um, that cool duvet that I showed you, called Comforter or whatever it's called. Um, we don't call them comforters in this country. We call them duvets. Um, it, the temperature has dropped here in the UK. Um, but it's still all that Rob and I have needed. So it's, it's very confusing because it does keep you warm enough. But the fabric stays cool. But it doesn't kind of keep you cool underneath it but there's always a cool part of it to touch I don't know I mean I haven't asked Rob but like he like I said before he can sleep on a washing line so he's not the best judge anyway um I'll get this loaded up today is Wednesday hopefully this will be up tomorrow Thursday what day is that the 29th I think so, oh my goodness, it's July on Saturday, isn't it? Anyway, thank you so much for watching as ever and I'll see you really soon. Bye.